Hey there, it's Casey, and I am showing my face in the front of the camera to get started for this video. This is the October Coco Daisy Design Team box that I'm going to share with you. So here we go, let's get started. This is the October 2020 Flannel and Frost, kind of a tongue twister, Coco Daisy kit. Some of the things I've already opened, so you're not watching me fumble with the packaging. Some of it you will have to watch some fumbling. I'll try to make it quick. So these are the kits that I get. This is the Pocket Keeping Memory Kit. This is the Planner Add-on Kit. The Standard Dory. The Daisy Week stickers. And the Memory Keeping stickers. So let's dive in here. We'll start with the stickers since I have those open already. The Daisy Weeks I really like. I use a Hobonichi to do some creative journaling in. Um, these aren't specifically designed for that size planner, but they're still a lot of fun to work with and I use them in my memory keeping um, as well. I really like these, the strips, just to have like a little sentiment above the bottom or top of a page or wherever stand tall like a sunflower, you have, uh, repeats of some of the different design themes. This I use in my memory planning pages for the days of the week on certain layouts, boxes, and check marks, or a uh, check box list. I don't know if that's how you say that. They're <laughs> always fun. And then these are fun little pops to put um, on my planner layouts throughout the week. These little washi strips are, they're um, transparent, but they're really fun to add little details, um, especially behind pictures to make those pop. The memory keeping kit, sticker kit. So again, I use a lot of the number stickers for the dates on my memory planner. Again, the washi strips for accent pieces tons of alphas. I use these a lot in my Bible journaling as well, so you'll see some more of that in the coming weeks. Label stickers. This little hedgehog is so cute. <laughs> It'll be fun to add in there, especially my little one doesn't like to wake up early, so that's a good sentiment for him. And then, oh, this is my favorite. Um, anything striped with like an ombre effect, I'm in. This one is gonna be really tempting to not save for Christmas time but hopefully there'll be more of that uh, come Christmas. These I also use um, in pocket page scrapbooking to make my own um, pocket card. They're um, sized to fit like a big happy planner, um, but they're versatile and can go in all kinds of different sizes. These are the transparent quote stickers. All kinds of fun little things on there. And now let's dive in to the planner add-on kit. So what I love about this is it comes with some die cuts, it comes with washi, it's just a good assortment without having um, a planner insert that you need to use. So this is an orange Le Pen. These, I always love the little um, clips, bow clips, that pops in the planner. These are some of the die cuts. I'm not going to open all of these. Um, I'll take a picture of them and share them, but there's usually tabs and different goodies in there. And this actually is the real reason I subscribe to it. It's for this little bag of goodies. So you get a couple quote cards, pumpkin spice and everything nice. These are so cute. And then this is sort of the color template for the kit. These stickers, these are my favorite, favorite. I use these a ton in my memory planning along with these number stickers. I love how it has, again, like an ombre. It shows all the kit colors in one week when you lay these out, um, you know, Monday through Sunday. Um, and then the date stickers that match along with it. And then sort of like a little dashboard that you can add to different planner sizes. Here's the personal size and A5 size bookmarks that have the month on it. Some fun glitter stickers that'll be good to add 
pops of brown on the pages. And I believe these are the cardstock tabs. So you can use these in a lot of different ways, but what they do is they fold um, onto themselves and make a tab for your planner pages. So I use these a lot in my memory planning um, and my planner pages, so it's a good kit to get different little goodies. And the stripe washi there with the different colors. Excuse my nose, we have fires in California right now and the air is horrible, so that is giving me a raspy voice and a runny nose. <laughs> Yay for fall. Okay. I'm gonna go through all these cards because they're amazing. I love the colors on that. So these are double-sided pocket page scrapbooking cards. I love the font on this. This is fun. Uh, yes, Mondays should be optional. There's that ombre design again that you saw in the memory keeping sticker kit. This, I love the variation in the colors with the text. See how those go really nicely together? Oops, I forgot to show you the back on that one. Ooh, I like the sunflower. Autumn leaves and pumpkins, please. Same sentiment on this side of that card. And then a quote on the back. That one's a really nice one. Um, this one might be my favorite, and both sides are my favorite, so to find a way to put it in the pocket page so I could see both sides. I like the challenge of that. I like this pattern too. That's fun. This is almost like a library card. This would be good daily log, or you could even turn it into like a reading log and write what you're reading for the fall. I'm always just here for the food, so just know that. <laughs> and these colors uh, match the stripes on that card. Fall favorites. Sweater weather. I'm ready for sweater. Sweater weather. I'm ready for some rain. I'm ready. I'm tired of the heat. There's this pattern again. Obviously this side is different. Ooh, I do love this one too. I like how they're stacked in the kit because look at those two together. If you hear banging, that is my son trying to concentrate in his Zoom classroom. Here is the stamp kit that comes with this. Pumpkin spice time. Moments worth remembering. Um, these, like wreath is really fun. To, you could put um, one of the stickers or chipboards in the center of that. I'll show you those in just a second. This is a great for a pattern um, like along the bottom or top of a page to add some pops of color with stamping. Uh, these are the four by six cards. I forgot to show those. October favorites, autumn. This is one of the pattern papers and it's so pretty. I love the hexagons. Again, kind of like a little old school library card. Stripes, anything stripes. I'm on it. I'm sold. These leaves, I want to open this up. Sorry for the printing paper here, but they have gold foiling on them, I believe. Yes. I can't tell if it's, it's gold. Yeah, it's gold. I wasn't sure if it was gold or copper. It's gorgeous. So they're vellum with the gold foiling. And they have just a hint of a color. There's like orange-ish, yellow, and tints of green. So those are going to be a lot of fun to work with. Uh, one of the tags, the adhesive glitter dots that match all the kit colors. I don't know if we want to open those here. This is like a little sequency situation with leaves in there. I know a lot of the gals make shaker pockets, so I'm going to have to give that a try. These are puffy uh, stickers that are the leaf shapes as well. Chipboard design. So this will be fun for a list, like top three things. I 
Okay, so I opened up the die cut so you could see I always separate them like the word sentiments, the tabs, the different label shapes, the circles. And I love this little, I don't know what this shape is, I should ask my kid. It was a cool and sunny fall day. And the arrows, all kinds of fun design, or er, designs on the die cut. <laughs> Have some puffy alpha stickers in like a light, in a tan color, and the pattern papers. So we have leaves and check the ombre stripe with the plus signs. Ooh, another striped version with like a watercolor effect. That's really pretty. And then there is that hexagon pattern. So many good papers this time. So there we go. That is my design team box. I'm super excited to I organize it all first and then uh, come up with my memory planner spreads and that I'll be sharing with you on my Instagram account. Thanks for joining me. Take care.